So uh, it is necessary uh, that uh, we have an understanding about uh, the victory which uh, we have in our life. Uh, as uh, we are uh, uh, in Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ has uh, finished the work at the cross. Every enemy's works have been destroyed. We have a guaranteed victory. But this victory will only be uh, manifested in our life. When, uh, uh, when, when, when will it manifest? One is when we believe. And the second is when we speak. Uh, it is uh, our uh, um, shout of victory which brings the victory. And the victory of the Satan is given the glory of the victory. We cannot say, I have victory and keep quiet. If you, are really, uh, if you have really defeated your enemy, how you will have a shout of victory? That should be revealed through your voice of victory. So 118 was 5, that is being first. Sorry, 118 The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacle of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. Let us stand and honor this word of God. Father, we thank and praise you, my Father, for bringing this word into our hearts, Lord. We have to the depths of this uh, and a truth heart that we may stand and believe and see victories all the days of our life and live a life of dominion. In Jesus' name, Amen, Amen, Amen. Amen. Let us know. So, Psalms 118, verse 5. Sangeetha Mutri Padanatil, 15, rather 15, Padanatil, speaks about the voice of rejoicing and salvation. It is talking about a voice of victory. Salvation means what? Everything what we have received at the cross. The finished work of Jesus Christ at the cross. So when we express our victory, our voice should be of rejoicing. There are two ways we can react. One we can say when you uh, find something which is uh, uh, about to overcome you or you are uh, surprised or you are uh, feeling it's going to hurt you or just uh, harming you. One you can say a you, a loss. So that is what the generally uh, people's uh, uh, mouth speaks out when they have a situation. They say, Ayo. Alas means uh, it is talking about the voice of defeat. So here God is saying that your voice of rejoicing should be with the, uh, with the understanding of the salvation. And this should be heard in the uh, in the uh, tabernacle of the righteous. It is not that God doesn't say our house as a home or a, He says it's a tabernacle. 
the tabernacle? Uh, the tabernacle is the place where the Lord lives. Kudaram uh, enna the kartha chinikkira oru idam. So it is the Lord who is dwelling with us. Kartha ne nammodu vaasam seigara. So when the Lord Jesus is dwelling with us, kartha ne nammodu vaasam seigara. When the Lord Jesus is dwelling with us, kartha ne Jesus nammodu vaasam So can anything overcome us? He is not only there for the body of man. He is always there with us. Now the important thing about the body is that he will not allow any of the enemy's work to manifest in our lives. That is why we are not going to be able to avoid the enemy's work. And with the revelation about what has happened at the cross, but our body is not only there for the enemy's work. But our body is not only there for the enemy's work. But our body is not only there for the enemy's work. But our body is not only there for the enemy's work. Yeah, Matthew chapter 16, uh, verse uh, 31, right? And he says, "Let me not take for you all the things that you have to endure all those things." Okay. It talks about in this world there is tribulation, in me there is peace. Be of good cheer that I have overcome this world. In the world that we have to endure, we have to learn the samadha of the world. Think of the good things that we have in the world that we see. So the word of God says very clearly uh, uh, here that uh, Jesus' word says that I have overcome this world. If you ever be wanting to listen to the word of God, you should listen to the word of God. I am the one that they bear for the victory. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. But certainly in this world there is tribulation. I am the one that they will go through the world. In other words, where are the words of God? It is talking about our victory. Now we are victory to the devil. It is in John chapter sixteen, five and ten. John chapter sixteen verse thirty. You are not talking now. Open the thirty three. Open the book. Yes. Next verse. These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you might have, you should have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Here we are talking about the Samadhan. We are talking about the world. 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 What is the meaning of I have overcome the world? I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have destroyed the power of the enemy, which could harm you. I have But in Jesus Christ there is peace. Peace means it's a place where there is no uh, enemies attack. So the Samadhan means the soul of the Lord is not under the enemy. The Samadhan means the path of the Lord is not under the enemy. Or in this world there is tribulation means. In the world there is open from under the enemy. Certainly in this world there is enemies attack. So in this world there is open from under the enemy. But in Christ, there is peace. For everyone who will willingly gives their heart to Jesus, or they will be having this peace in them, and they will see this victory. They can be a good cheer. I will be cheer man. They can put a good cheer. They can put a good cheer. As the enemy, the devil doesn't have any power to hurt them. So the one who is out there, the one who is doing something, you may have to be able to kill him. As long as they are in Christ, the Lord Jesus will be with you. The Lord Jesus has destroyed the enemy's power, which can hurt or harm you forever, as long as you are in Christ. The Lord Jesus will be with you. The Lord Jesus will be with you. The Lord Jesus will be with you. Now, why should you uh, uh, be troubled, or why should you lose your peace? Why should you say I am okay? 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 And so we are part of our spiritual life. The reason is, you know, the enemy has got no power to uh, attack you or uh, harm you or hurt you. And now, when you come to the world, you have to be very careful. Now, when you think the same thing, you have to be very careful. 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 That is why it is in Amos 18:15. Let us come back to that. I will not only put it up, but I will also put it up. That the Lord will do. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacle of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth 
which is the shield which goes all around that you cannot be harmed by anything the Lord is your buckler all of your salvation is your high tower so anything any virus or any uh, any other sickness or disease uh, it can be in the air it can be anywhere but it cannot touch you
us to sing unto him in songs so why because all the songs which is in songs are given by god to the psalmist that is read in Joshua chapter 6 verse 2 to 5 Joshua chapter 6 verse 2 to 5 Joshua chapter 6 verses 2 to 5 and the Lord said unto Joshua see I have given into their hands Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor and you shall compass the city all the men of war and go round about the city once thus shalt thou do six days and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day you shall come past the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with trumpets. And it shall come to pass when they make a long blast with a ram's horn. And when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout. And the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Kerja Yosua memuji. Ido, jadi kau ini ada bahasa ini berita berita ini berkali kali tu berdua. Ia tu berusaha lagi untuk selain daripada perkara yang suruh tu berdua dalam suatu perayaan. Ia seperti hari nak sehingga kerja ini. Ia itu asa dia berhenti ke mana dia itu kumpul ikan dia berhenti ke perut dia boleh beri itu. Ia itu apa nama dia? Perkara yang dia itu dalam suatu perayaan kerja dia. Asa dia rekta orang lain buat apa itu? Awak orang dalam kumpul kali nak dengan tuan ini itu bodoh. Nih kalau rekta sahaja tidak itu bodoh. Jangan kalau dia itu orang muda, orang muda tu orang yang apa itu kerja dia. Apa itu perkara yang orang muda ini tidak bodoh. Orang ini jangan kalau orang muda tu orang yang orang ini kerja kerja dia. So this is the direction or the instruction which was given to Joshua by the Lord. Ini adalah perintah yang Yesus Allah telah berikan kepada kita. The Lord said. I have given you Jericho and the king and the mighty men of valor into your hands. All you have to do is surround the city with all your men of war. Go around the city once. Continue to do that for six days. And on the seventh day, Go around the city seven times. But on the battle of the city, you get to the city bar. And uh, or also directed uh, the seven priests should have the uh, 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 the ram's horn with them as a trumpet. But on the day of the battle, you get to the city. And as a result, you get to the city. While they blow the trumpet, and the people are on the move to burn it. Then the people have to shout. And while they shout. What the Lord said? Jericho wall will fall down flat. And the people will ascend up every man straight before him. What is this Jericho wall? You know how, how uh, um, wide the Jericho wall is? The Jericho wall is at least around, uh, it is around 5 to 6 feet in width. It is a wall which uh, you can never think about bringing it down. It is a strong wall. Maybe we have a wall of China. Then there was, there, there, those days there was a wall of Jericho. They came to a place where they couldn't go across. But it was God's will that they have to go and inherit the promised land. God said that you have to just have a, just shout out loud. 
the presence of God let your voice of shout be great devudi prasannathile nammiya andha sonna vetti kuramaadu adu mega adhigamaana periyaga irukku how great is your shout and shows how much faith you have evvalu periyaga nammiya sattham irukkirathu adu evvalu viswasam avan irukkirathu endra naapikkirathu irukku that is when the wall before you will fall flat chapadana nadakku mundaga irukkum andha suvarana andha madhigaana andha alaga vaanadhu idhu irukkirathu so today we understand from this message in the same thing like that there is nothing which is a uh, uh, which is a block or a uh, or a hindrance for us even when we are not able to stand up or stand up the enemy cannot stop us so we have victory how victory comes into our life by we express how faith to a shout now we victory and our heart is full of our faith and our trust in our faith it is god who commanded the, the, the joshua to ask the people to shout they were joshua who the kattale itar avaru avarathile janakadathu sundumbadiyaga janakalai avargal sattamaga gambira kolla edutha vendum and the joshua chapter 6:20 says the people over there had a shout so and had a voice of great shout but the joshua had a great shout and the people janakal maga aravathe avargal edupinaga the great shout brought the wall down and the maga Ascended and they went over the the uh, the dirt the or the or the uh, dirt dirt over there and they went forward uh, 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 and they captured the city. Yeah. And the enemy people look very much like the enemy chapter. Our that battle with the enemy, they put in over my ear. So what we understand is the midst of the situation, we have to have the voice of rejoicing and salvation. And all the enemy people in the world are under so many demands. They are under the check and under the army. They are under the police. When we have this, when we shout out loud, and our Satyamadhi is the one who has done the thing. The Lord will come down, and He will do valiant things, great things, miraculous things, looking at our faith. That is the reason why we are not only doing the things, but also doing the things that are not only the things that we are supposed to do. We have a choice. Now, what do we see? What do we see? The situation when the things are not working well. The person who is in the middle of the road is not doing well. Can be sorrowful and say, "Alas." Now, do come and do what you want. Do you want to do what you want? Or you can say, uh, with a shout of victory, you can say, "Praise the Lord." I mean, that our victory, God, our Lord, has done it. Just do what you want. You know what happened in the uh, in, in the situation where uh, Elisha uh, was uh, surrounded by uh, a great army. Now, when they come to the house, they say, "Elisha, we have to do what we want." Do what we want. 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 Gone, you. They want to arrest you. I want to tell them they can't see you. They want to kill you. I want to tell them they can't kill you. Elisha was not disturbed. I want to tell them they can't kill you. They want to kill you. He would have certainly said as a in the loud voice, "Raise the Lord." The next man was Satan. Man was a poor man. The third man was a poor man. They say, "Hallelujah!" Hallelujah! God opened this man's eyes. After he came to the temple, he saw. Let us see what is there actually uh, uh, in the spirit realm. How many people are there? How many people are there? How many people are there? Man saw there was chariots and horses. And the very same kind of thing, man, the other kind of other thing, man. The angels were surrounding. Do that kind of soul that would have done that. The Elisha cannot be harmed. The Elisha, in the thing that the Lord has given him, that type of protection we have. And that the man of God has given him, that type of victory we have. And that the man of victory, man, we have. All God is expecting from us is a voice of victory. They were not only the leader, but the entire world victory in the book of Mark. A great shout of victory. और विट्री मगा हुआ है दस इंडिया के लोगों इधर आओ ये हाल बल यहाँ ना आप तो इंडिया के लोगों के हाल के बात के लिए बिल्कुल सुन देते हैं इंडिया के वाले लोगों के लिए तो तब पुरे तीर्थ के लिए इस तरह के लोगों के लिए हाल के लोगों का बड़ा बड़ा क्या हाल के लोगों के लिए इंडिया के लोगों के लिए हाल के लोगों के लिए हाल के लोगों